My name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 8, verse 35. Whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. This weekend we will be celebrating Thanksgiving, and we will do so by being, many of us, by being with family, and many of us will be eating turkey and wonderful meals together and watching sports on TV and enjoying a day off or going for a drive to enjoy the beauty around us during this time of year, and it certainly is a beautiful time of year. But the Bible has a great deal to say about Thanksgiving. Being thankful is one thing. We're called to be thankful, as we know. Scripture tells us over and over to be thankful, to give thanks. An unthankful Christian, however, is an oxymoron. It doesn't go together. There's probably no greater hindrance to the testimony of a Christian or to the testimony of the Christian church than thanklessness. Being unthankful is a result of many different things, but to keep it simple, unthankfulness usually worms its way into our life when things get hard, when life gets hard, when life isn't going the way you wanted it to or hoped it would. seems like the list of reasons people have for not being thankful grows longer and longer all the time. We live in a broken world with sinful people, and it makes it hard sometimes. We have governments that pass legislations that are infringed upon our rights and don't make sense to us. Slowly but surely, as we dwell on these things, we find it harder and harder to give thanks with a grateful heart. Gratefulness and ungratefulness cannot live in the same heart at the same time. So while the list of reasons people have for not being thankful grows longer and longer all the time, The list of things we had to be thankful for seems to get shorter and shorter. But Paul tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, In everything give thanks, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. That's quite a verse. The longer we live, the more we get to know Scripture and understand the character of God, the love of God, His faithfulness, His mercy, His goodness, His power, His purposes, His plans, His sovereignty, His providence. The more we understand Christ, his love, his sacrifice on the cross, the the glory of God's grace and our salvation, the joy of sins forgiven, the hope of heaven, of knowing that our God is working all things together for our good. The more the Christian grows in grace, the more they should be filled with thanksgiving. So to go back to Paul's verse and everything give thanks, Paul's basically telling us we need to get rid of the list. What should characterize our attitudes in everything life throws at us? He tells us in everything, give thanks. Now he says he doesn't say for everything, give thanks, but in every situation we find ourselves in, we know God is working. People may have done evil, said mean things to us, which they meant to hurt, and and it did hurt. But as we know, as Joseph told his brothers in Genesis, they meant it for evil, but God allowed it or meant it for good. An unthankful Christian is one who has his eyes fixed on this world and not Christ. An unthankful Christian is one who is having their eyes fixed on this world is filled with fear and uncertainty and despair. An unthankful Christian is a powerless Christian, quenching the Spirit's work in their lives and is living in their own strength according to their own wisdom. Proverbs is a book about wisdom, of living wisely, making wise choices. And living wisely, I believe, goes hand in hand with living thankfully. Why? That's what our verse says. For whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. Jesus said, I have come you might have life and have it more abundantly. The Christian life is a life of joy and praise, of blessing. It is a life filled with wonder and worship, of purpose and peace. It's a life filled not with the spirit of fear, but with the spirit of power and love and a sound or healthy, disciplined mind. The Christian is one who has found life's greatest joy and life's ultimate meaning which is to glorify God and enjoy him forever. Whoever finds wisdom finds life and obtains favor from the Lord. An unthankful Christian is a walking contradiction. May we in everything give thanks to God, to enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. He has done all things well. That God's way is perfect, his word is pure, his salvation is a free gift of grace alone through faith alone in Christ alone. He will never leave us nor forsake us. We've been given life in Jesus Christ, and those who drink from this well will never thirst again. So this is a holiday where we as Christians really need to shine as lights in the midst of a wicked and perverse generation. And we shine 
And that light will shine very, very bright in this day and age that we're living in by us learning what it means to in everything give thanks. And blessing upon blessing. Listen to what Paul says in 2 Timothy 1.12. For this reason I suffer these things, but I am not ashamed. For I know whom I have believed, and I am convinced that he's able to guard what I've trusted to him until that day. And we know that glorious day is coming. One day we will be with him forever and ever. So give thanks. Give thanks to the Lord. Enter his gates with thanksgiving for all he's done for us. And may the world see it and ask us of the reason of the hope that we have. And we can point him to our wonderful Savior, Jesus Christ. May this truth guide us and guard us in the trenches of life as we seek to live our lives for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless.